SPS Propagation, presented by Geothermal Aquaculture Research Foundation in Boise, Idaho. This video will show you how to propagate the small polyp stony corals. This group includes Acropora, Monopora, Postulopora, Stylophora, and several others. This group is called the SPS corals in the aquarium trade. The group SPS includes some of the most beautiful and valuable captive raised corals. I hope our method that we use to propagate these corals help you reproduce corals for your marketplace. Propagating broodstock from Solomon Island discs. These corals are grown in the ocean and they're sold in the hobby as Solomon Island discs. This coral was kept in quarantine for three weeks and when it was removed for propagation we noticed some small damage from a starfish. Propagation can be used to stop the spread of damage. In this video you will see several of the tools that we use for propagating corals. You will notice that most of these tools can be attained at a regular hardware store. Fragments are made by breaking the coral, which is quite brittle. We use a variety of tools to get in between the base and the coral. We have found that the base heals better if the fragments are broken so that there is a fresh edge where the coral was attached. Using a product named Reef Glue, we put a small drop on each of the Aragacrete plugs. These plugs are then placed in order in reef water at the same temperature as the coral is in. As the glue starts to set, we remove the first plug from the water and attach the first coral to it. We found that this allows just enough time for the glue on the plug to start to set a bit. We repeat this process by twisting the plug, not the fragment. We hold the frag very gently. You can hold several small fragments together and put them onto the reef plug at the same time. By repeating this process using six plugs at a time we are able to mount an entire coral head and put it back in the reef tank in less than a half an hour. Using this technique we can mount very small pieces of the fragment on the same reef plug and they will eventually grow back together to make a nice base for on the plug. By experimenting on different size fragments we have discovered how to utilize a phenomenon called escape size to produce large colonies fast. When a coral is cut below a certain size, the fragment tends to grow very fast. These fragments from the same colony can grow back together and you can produce a nice looking multi-headed colony on a small plug. You can do a simple experiment to discover the optimum size for your fragments. By mounting several different size fragments on the same reef plug, you can find out which size fragment produces the best percentage of new polyps. The glue seals the cut end of the frag and stops infections. 
It is important to only mount fragments from the same